Hey guys, today we're gonna to have a quick tutorial on collecting fees for your marketplace app using Stripe Connect. A few of you asked in my previous Stripe Connect tutorial, how do I collect fees as a platform? And I'll show you how and the choices you have to make to make the right business decision for your platform. So what Stripe offers are basically three types of charge type to collect platform fees, direct charge, destination charge, and separate charges and transfer. 90% of the time, you'll probably use either direct charge or destination charge. Separate charges and transfer is when you have multiple sellers linked to one charge to the user. I'll go through direct charges and destination charge as that will cover 80 to 90% of your use cases. So you can read a bit more about you know, what you should use for what in documentation, but I'll visually show you the differences between the two. The major difference between the two here is who gets charged the Stripe fee. That's the biggest financial difference. So you can see here, this is the fund of the user checking out and the $10 checkout gets transferred to the connected account straight away. And Stripe takes a fee and then you receive from the $10 charge $1.23 application fee, which is the platform fee. And hence, the connected account nets 8.18, which is $10 minus the Stripe fee minus the application fee. So you can see here the fund gets sent from the buyer all the way straight to the connected account, i.e. the seller. So what is destination charge then? So destination charge is where you actually, as a platform, gets the money first. And then subsequently, this is transferred to the connected account. So you can see here that buyer sends the money to you as a platform first, and then you take out $1.23 of application fee here, and then the remaining $8.77 gets transferred to the connected account. Because the buyer is interacting with your platform directly, the Stripe fees will be charged to you of 0 0.59, and therefore you net 0 0.64. There is a bit of a difference, not just who charges the fee, but also regarding refunds and chargebacks. Because in destination charge, because buyer is interacting with your platform directly, you're responsible for the strike fees, refunds and chargeback. While for direct charge, because the buyer is interacting, interacting directly with the connected account, they are responsible for the refunds and chargeback. So ultimately, you need to understand what is your use case and how you want um, your connected accounts to behave. Stripe provides a bit of guidance about you know, when you should use direct charge and when you should use destination charge. So for example, direct charges like Shopify, an accounting platform like, like SaaS, for example, um, while destination charge could be a ride hailing platform like Uber or Lyft, a service platform like Thumbtack. And of course, there are documentation on it. Um, you can read more about selecting the right charge type for yourself. So how do we implement this in Flutterflow, the different type of charge type? Ultimately, it's very similar. So you can see here, majority of the line of the API core is exactly the same, except for one difference. For direct charge, because we're charging the connected account directly, you pass in the header Stripe account connected ID. For destination charge, instead of passing the connected account in the header, you pass it as a variable. So payment intent data, transfer data, destination, connected account ID. If you don't know how to set up this checkout session for connected accounts, remember to watch my previous videos so you can understand the core concepts of it. But in this lesson, we'll just simply cover the charge types and in addition, collecting the fee. So you can see here back in Flutterflow, I already have the previous checkout session created. And if we want to charge a destination charge, you simply got to add a new parameter. And the field you got to add is payment intent data, transfer data destination, as shown in the documentation here. 
And then you simply go to add this from variable, your connected account variable. Easy as that. And then to test, you simply go to test the API call by putting in a connected account ID. And you can see here, it works fine. So here I'm charging $10 as a price. And then my fee I'm collecting is $1.23. And that's perfectly fine. You can see here there is success URL for the checkout as well. So let's do the other one where we are actually directly charging the connected account, uh, which is a direct charge. So this is a destination charge because you see here there's a destination um, in the parameter. Let's just say I want to do a direct charge where the money is flowing directly from the buyer to the seller. And all you got to do here is if we refer to the documentation, we need to pass in the Stripe account as a header. So let's go back to Flutterflow quickly. Uh, let's go to the headers tab, add header, and then already have a variable of connected account. I believe it's that's it. I press save and let's test it as well. Test the API call. Voila, a new checkout session has been created. And similarly, you have you know, the URL and then you just go from there. So I hope this quick lesson on charge types and collecting platform fees helped you build your marketplace using Stripe Connect. Remember to comment, like, or subscribe for more content on Floodflow.